It's nearly a week since the Philippines were struck by a typhoon, the strongest this year. At least 375 people lost their lives and hundreds of thousands have been left without shelter. The Red Cross says there is carnage, to quote them, in many areas, with no power, no communications and very little water. One of the worst affected areas was the popular tourist island of Siargao. And from there, our correspondent Howard Johnson sent this report. Devastation as far as the eye can see. Super Typhoon Rai first made landfall here last Thursday, packing winds in excess of 150 miles an hour and dumping huge quantities of rainfall. This dramatic footage captured the moment a new sports hall, doubling as an evacuation center, was torn to shreds. There was no protection. There was no roof. There was no wall. We was literally lying there down there and the entire nature force was like bashing on us with full power with full force we had nothing there the governor of the island estimates that 90 percent of buildings have been damaged this is my house this man shows me to where his home and convenience store once stood i'm scared because my children is no more no more food and then my house is broken for the typhoon. I don't know I'm going to start again my store and my, <clears throat> my home. This is a scene that we have seen many times. The roof has been ripped off like a can of sardines. The metal has been torn back. Glass is smashed up there and you can see the roof in tatters down here. And so many people are without shelter at the moment. And people here are calling for more support. They need more aid, they need more water, more food. And at the moment, the supplies are coming through, but they're not getting through quickly enough. Prices for filtered bottled water have doubled in the last week, forcing some to find other sources. This family are drawing water from an old well, but it isn't clean. Diarrhea cases are on the rise here. It's bad for the stomach, sir, but we don't have choice. We need to drink. We don't have um, safety water for drink. At the island's badly damaged airport, aid is getting through, but in limited quantities. Outside, residents have been waiting for up to three days for a flight off the island. It's leading to a sense of panic. There's nothing. There's no system. We have to figure out ourselves. Uh, that's it. The real pandemic is not having a system. Sorry. As night falls, a newly arrived Philippine Red Cross team help islanders to speak with loved ones using their satellite phone. Help is on hand here, but there needs to be a lot, lot more. Howard Johnson, BBC News, Shogao Island.